Hello everyone, in this video we will discuss about the k-mean clustering. So basically what I need to make do is I have some given set of information and I have to make clusters of them, clusters is groups of them and how many clusters I have to make 2, 3, 4 that will be given to us. For example here it is given k that is k is equal to 2 that is only 2 clusters that is I have to divide these 7 objects into 2 groups. For this I have to find the Euclidean distance ok. So what is Euclidean distance formula? The formula is x1 minus x2 whole square plus y1 minus y2 whole square where x and y will be the values for the records ok and uh, x2 y2 will be the means ok they will be the means means of cluster. and they will be the A and B for each record ok so now what will happen uh, whosoever we will find the values with respect to cluster 1 also and cluster 2 also we will see it further that will be clear to you and uh, minimum we basically want that we, we, are, we want to group the minimum uh, same kind of items together so suppose now I have to take a starting point here I suppose that see when I check distance of 1 from 2 this is only 0.5 and 1 then I check 1 and 3 2 and 3 when I check 1 and 4 it is 4 and 6 when I check 1 and 5 it is 2.5 and 4 that is it is started decreasing that is maximum difference was coming in 1 and 4 so I have to divide them into two different groups right I have to group the uh, things in such a way that one kind of things are in one cluster other kind of things are in another cl cluster so I will put by hit and trial I have found out that I will put uh, uh, one first item in cluster 1 and second item in cluster 2 and we calculate the mean so how we have calculated the mean this is A this is B A and B so for 1 the value of A is 1 for uh, b the value of uh, this thing for item 1 value of b is 1 so the mean is obviously this because there is no other item and in cluster 2 we have item number 4 so the corresponding values of a and b have been written over here ok now we will find we have record 1 and record 4 in particular cluster now we have to find for record 2 that I have to put it in cluster 1 or cluster 2 so for record 2 I will find the Euclidean distance with respect to mean of cluster 1 and with respect to mean of cluster 2. For record 2 the value of A was 1.5 and B was 2.0. Okay so Euclidean distance with respect to C1 is A minus mean of C1 whole square plus B minus mean of C1 whole square right. Okay and I find the value as 1.12 now with respect to C2 with respect to C2 this is what this is the value of A this is the value of B this is the mean A and mean B of cluster so mean A is 1.5 for record 2 sorry uh, not mean A the A A for uh, record 2 is 1.5 I have written it over here then mean of the cluster mean of the cluster is 5.0 and 7.0 a and b values right and the b for b for 2 is 2 I have written over here and the mean is 7 so I have written and find out the Euclidean, the Euclidean distance is 6.10 6.10 sorry so we see that the Euclidean distance of record 2 from c1 is less than that of c2 so what I will do that is 2 is more similar to 1 2 is more similar to cluster 1 than cluster 2 that is I will put uh, 2 in cluster number 1 so what will happen is that will lead to cluster 1 having 1 and 2 and cluster 2 having only 4 now what we will do at every step we have to calculate a mean if we do not calculate the mean our answer will be wrong so what I have to do now cluster 1 previously was having only one item but now cluster 1 has item 1 also item 2 also I will calculate the new mean uh, the new mean will be calculated as item item uh, subject 1 or item 1a plus item 2a by 2 
and uh, the the second one will be item one's b plus i uh, items two b by two as I have done over here. Okay, I hope you uh, have understood how I found out the new mean. Okay, new mean is basically the means of all a's and the means of all b's in that cluster. And uh, here the item no item is added, so there is no change in the mean. That is, it is equal to the previous one. So now for record three, I will find out with respect to cluster one and cluster two. This is the a value for record three. This is the mean of cluster one, and uh, this is the b value for record three and mean of cluster one. Mean of cluster one, right? So I find this and this. So I here I again see that the value of uh, uh, this thing, Euclidean distance with respect to cluster one is less than Euclidean distance with respect to cluster two. So what I will do? That is record three is more similar to cluster one. So I will add record three to cluster number one. So now again there's a change in cluster one. I will find out the new mean. And the mean for the cluster two will remain the same. Now we'll find out the Euclidean distance for record five because I have done for one, two, three, and four. Now it's turn for record five. And uh, when I find for record five, I see that record five will go to cluster number two. Guys, you can simply pause the video right now and practice the question uh, by your own. And uh, because then all the calculations are right here in front of you, and uh, they are very, they are totally similar. Uh, only the values are different to the ones that have already explained you. So I suggest you to pause the video right now and solve all the values by yourself, so that you actually uh, know where you are lacking or where you need to watch the video again or clear more of your concepts. So similarly, we go on for record six and record seven. Okay, and uh, we find that. In the end, we have the clustering as follows. The cluster 1 contains 1, 2 and 3 item and cluster 2 contains 4, 5, 6 and 7 items. Now when this happens, I have to calculate the means. Okay, I calculated the means. Now in the beginning, I had taken only an assumption that I had put 1 in cluster 1 and 4 in cluster 2. I was not sure or I am not very certain or 100% not, uh, there is no surety, 100% uh, surety that they my assumption was correct now to prove that my assumption was correct what I have to do I have to find out the um, Euclidean distance of all these records 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 with respect to these new means how I am doing it see now record 1 the re value for uh, record 1 a was 1 and b was also 1 so now I am finding the Euclidean distance of record 1 with respect to C1 and with respect to C2. So with respect to C1 is 1 minus 1 1.8 whole square plus 1 minus 2.3 whole square, right? And with respect to C2 will be 1 minus 4.1, I have taken it as 4.1, rounded it off. 4.1 whole square plus 1 minus 5.4 whole square. From where these values came? From that initial table that was given to us. Okay, this one. So that is 5.4. That means record 1 is correct it it uh, it was initially in cluster 1 and when I when I found out again using all this uh, method all over again so I see that the Euclidean, Euclidean distance of uh, record 1 from from cluster 1 is lesser than that of cluster 2 so that is record 1 is placed correctly now similarly I have uh, I'm going to show you a table uh, the table is uh, simply the calculations for this I have not done it uh, you know in the long way I had taken them out and written on the form of a table so like I found for record 1 similarly I find for record 2 3 4 5 6 7 and they are shown over here okay so I see that Euclidean distance for 1 is 1.5 and 5.4 that is with C1 it is less okay and for 2 also it is less earlier what was the clusters 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 right that is 1's Euclidean distance or one's distance from cluster 1 should be less than one's distance from cluster 2. It is true, true. But when I come to 3, what has happened is the distance of 3 from cluster 1 is more than the distance of 3 from cluster 2. That is, so what I will do? I will shift, I will shift my 3 from cluster 1 to cluster 2. Why? Because the Euclidean distance or you can say the distance of cluster 3 
was less uh, was less from cluster 2 now see this these values 2.1 and 1.8 which is shorter 1.8 is sorry no, smaller so that is 3 is more nearer to c2 c is more nearer to 3 c2 that is why i shifted c3 uh, from cluster 1 to cluster 2 when i shifted it from cluster 1 to cluster 2 now what will happen again the contents of cluster have changed again i will have to find out new means new mean here also it is new mean now when i find them out so what i will do i will again calculate what r1 with respect to c1 and c2 r2 with respect to c1 c2 r3 with respect to c1 c2 and so on but this time i will see that all the uh, you know all the items have been placed in the correct order and none of them is here and there so that's all about the k-mean clustering basically you just have to group the given items uh, in a group of k clusters k can be two three four it depends on the uh, question and uh, you have to see that the distance of an item from a cluster is minimum that is if i'm having five clusters i will find the distance of my item one from all those five cl clusters and the minimum distance that i get item one will move to that cluster okay that is the basic concept behind it and one important point that we have to take care at every step is checking out the mean if i take out a wrong mean or if i do not uh, if i forget to take out the new mean after i have updated my cluster so that will lead me to wrong result. That is all about K-mean clustering. See you in the next video. Thank you for watching. And please do like, subscribe and share my videos. And you can mail me any suggestions or queries at my email id lastminutetutorials.com or you can mention in the comment section. Thank you.